All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a Riyadh new torrent here with me for a maintenance video, but hey, don't forget to like this video and maybe, you know, subscribe to this channel if you are feeling so, so, uh, or like if you like this stuff that I'm showing to you. So let's uh, start it. Let's get started, guys. So this is a big boy and it's kind of like heavy, but feels great in the hand. The, heck, the action is, um, see, it's probably we can perfect this so let's go ahead and see let's find out so i think we're gonna need uh, t8 uh, torx bit for the handle and that is gonna be one screw coming out and you get just got two so just be nice because these are nicely anodized screws and you don't want to mess anything up and this guy as well works with a t8 but it's spinning, you can see it's spinning. So we're gonna need, let's try on this side, why wouldn't it spin on the other side? Yeah, so we're gonna need another uh, T8, which is uh, right over here. And let's use this guy. So on this side, I'm just gonna actually switch it like that. All right, so just point, put this guy inside and hold it like firmly in place and then you approach the other side and very gently like that very gently you just unscrew the pivot take your time no rush make sure you have a like a firm grip because you don't want to scratch or mar anything right so let's see if this guy just pops out like that just gentle wiggle here remember you have sharp edges going on look at that oh yeah oh yeah this needs some uh, love for sure so uh that's here that's the that's actually the pivot and these are the handle screws so let's just do like that all right and uh yeah there's some thick grease i'm sure the action is going to improve like crazy but that's just me i might be wrong let's see if some rubbing alcohol gets rid of this look at that green uh gunk that's pretty thick stuff right so yeah multi-row ceramic ball bearings interesting not impressed by the uh, amount of green wow that's a thick grease right here probably need to toss the the cloth after <laughs> look at this ah you know what i'm just gonna use a little bit more alcohol here just soaking it just like that there you go and now it's nice and clean beautiful and then uh, we're gonna approach uh, the blade like so here and just make sure everything comes off of that tang here all the crevices here and just let's just so this is the new uh torrent which is uh, using rwl 34 it's written somewhere like right over here and i think that the old i mean just just the torrent was using m390 so they changed it and here we have this clean blade and that is pretty cool. So that is done. Uh, then uh, we can just uh, go ahead and just clean the inside backspacer, especially that area. And now this area over here. So just popping the pivot out and wiping everything around here very good so that is done and we are actually in business so I would like to start from this side 
Is it possible? Is it the same or not? This guy can pop, correct, and then you're gonna be left with this right on the other side. So I don't see why we can't do this. So let's just do that. So this is gonna be like that. This is here. That's that. Uh, where is it? Over here. We've got uh, uh, some 10 weight nano oil, one, two, three drops over here. And then you've got your blade in place. Actually, there's a little bit of gunk, you see, around there. Now it's gone. And then again, you do like one, two, and three drops. And then you've got bearings. And then uh, you just need a little drop of uh, heavier weight nano oil, just like 85, something like this. You see, just a little, like half a drop. And then uh, we are pretty much done. So this guy goes in, you can release the tension that's in. And then, all right. So handle screw number one is in, handle screw number two, to make sure it's like catching the thread in the right way, which it doesn't seem right now. So what is going on? Let's see from this angle over here. Hmm. It's very strange. I don't understand. I don't want to force anything. So it should should go in like pretty easy. So let's try to swap these screws. Not sure why this should work, but who knows? It should be the same screw, right? Yeah. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So let's just put this guy in for now so we don't lose anything. So this guy is in. There you go. So at least we have, right, that is in place. And then what is going on here? Hmm. That's very, very interesting situation. Everything looks in place. Let me see. That is very strange, but sometimes life is strange, right? Like now this guy, huh? Now, yeah, this guy is going. So, okay, so that's tight. This is tight, don't over tight, remember. That's all right. And that's all right. So that was weird, but you know, and then just like that, uh, we're gonna do last touch, like so. I can just screw this like that very, very slowly until it gets to this point where we can start centering the blade. You see, now blade is centered. Let's distribute the oil. Oof, I already can see what is going on in this knife. Look at this, look at this. Now we are finally talking about some action, some smooth action. What was that grease? Look at this, look at this, look.
yes, I'm happy. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.